This year, EA Sports FIFA 23 have a new class of foot heroes that have launched in-game. Now, you might remember a couple months ago, we made a video with the legend himself, Yaya Torre, and we are back today for part two with the main man himself, Ledley King, the king of N17. Okay, Super Ledley King. See you. Nice to see you too. Behind this card here is your new Foot Heroes item. You ready for this? I'm ready, I'm ready. Come on then, here I'm we ready. go. Whoa! All right. What are we saying? Come on, give me your first impressions. First impressions of this little bad boy. Well, the first, first thing that stands out is a 55. Um, for shooting? For shooting. But I suppose I can, I can accept that. Uh, I didn't score too many goals, yeah. so uh, that's probably understandable. We're, we're going to see some goals in a minute, right? Yeah. And I think... I think it's fair. I'm going to say it's fair, all right? Well, once you've seen one of my goals, you probably know why I did get a 55. Okay. I don't think it was a, <laughs> a great shot. Physicality, what we're <laughs> saying, 80? Um, I'd probably like to see that move up a bit. I'd like to see the pace move up, for sure. Yeah, for sure. I'm not having that, for by sure, the way. Yeah, I think yeah. you're hard done by yeah, that, you know. Yeah, but what, yeah. you know what a lot of people will say? Good. 80 pace, but you never really needed your pace because you read the game so well. That. If you're in the right place, then you don't need to run, do you? Exactly. So that's what I'll say. It's a solid card. It's, yeah, it's not bad, is it? 86 rated. Yeah, that's not bad, is it? That's, that's pretty good. It's a solid card, yeah, that's isn't good. it? That's pretty good. So, Ledley, we are here today to talk about your Foot Hero item, and we are going to see your Foot Hero moment later on when you captain Tottenham to that 2008 League Cup final win over Chelsea. But first, we need to see a couple of your iconic goals. Okay, Ledley, I'm going to take you back to December the 9th, 2000. A long time ago. A long time ago. Against Bradford. Have a little watch of this. Wowee, game's just kicked off. I'm, I'm taking centre, imagine that. Have a little look okay. at this. Have a little look at this. You know what, I'll tell you the truth. If you look at me celebrating there, uh, I was a little bit embarrassed. I was a little bit embarrassed on, at the time. Why? Just because there wasn't a good strike. I didn't really kick it, do you know, know what I mean? And it ended up in the goal. I this is why, when I see 55 shooting, yeah, that, right? that, that's, I can't argue with This it, is I? the reason why I say I think it might be 55 shooting, because I think that if that hasn't taken a deflection, the goalie is basically oh, is taking his cap yeah, yeah, off and putting it yeah, on yeah, there, isn't it? Yeah, of course he is. Okay. Um, talk me through what you're thinking at that moment in time there. Why is Ledley King, 40 yards from goal, picking it up mm. sort of six, seven seconds into the game? Well, I was playing midfield that day, yeah. so, uh, you know, our, our, at the time, our way of taking kickoff was to have our striker in the, in the channel, um, midfield players to, to take the kickoff, play it back to the centre half, we would lump it forward. As Old a midfield school, player, you, you would try and pick up the, the second bit. Uh, so, yeah, luckily for me, picked up the second ball, took a couple of bobbly touches, <laughs> but at the time, I'm just thinking, get it down as soon as possible and, uh, and have a shot. And yeah, it went in, a big deflection. I was embarrassed. Uh, but after the game, pretty pleased to hear that it was, a, it was a new Premier League record. New Premier League record. Now, do you know that you held that record for 19 yeah, years? It's, it's incredible, yeah. 19, 19 years. years. And do you know who took that record off of you? I do, because uh, I, was, I was pretty invested in, in it at the end of, yeah, <laughs> especially sure. at the end of my career. Uh, you know, once I'd retired, I'd, I'd hear my name come up with the, with the record. Uh, so I started to enjoy it at that, at that moment, and then uh, it was Shane Long that actually actually came along and broke it, didn't it? It was Shane Long. Uh, he was playing for Southampton. Yeah. He was playing away at Watford. So, so you was the goalkeeper. And do you know who right, was in goal that geez. day? I, did, I tell the truth, I didn't even realise it was you. <laughs> come on, come on. If only. Do you know what the thing is as well, though? That, that goal should that have been. never stood. The goal should have never stood because when he cleared it against Shane Long, it hit his hand, right, bobbled right. down, and so then he went and scored. Today it wouldn't have been given. In today's game, yeah. you should still so, be that record yeah, holder. I mean, if only, huh? If only. Incredible, incredible. I had it long enough, can't complain. Exactly, 19 <laughs> years, can't, yeah, complain, can't mate. complain, Okay, Ledley, second iconic goal, 29th of October 2005, North London derby against Arsenal. This is the first North London derby as well, after that famous Arsenal invincible season. Talk me through this goal, mate. Talk me through this. Look at this little beauty. Oh, yeah. wow. It's one of, one of my favourite goals, actually. Is it really? It is, it is. I was fortunate enough to score twice against Arsenal. This was the, the first one in a 1-1 draw. But as you say, they was such a good side yeah. at the time. So difficult to beat. Um, but we, we normally done well, especially at home. I was, I was actually looking at my record against them. Um, 
in home games, we only lost one game and that was a 5-4 game. So uh, normally they ended up in draws. Uh, but yeah, they were a top team and yeah. That, who that was, who was supposed to be marking you there? Can you remember? I'm not sure, but if you actually look at it, Mido done a, a, done a great job for me actually. Blocking people kind of off. Blocking people off, yeah. using his physicality really. Oh, look yeah, at that. Pretty, look, there. See that? Lovely free run on it that's as well. We, that's what we got. Clean connection. Sorry. This is where I think that 80 physicality on the card, this is where I think that comes into play there because okay. it, you were like a bulldozer. You just straight through, boom, thank you very much. Okay. When Makes a ball sense. gets put into the box like that mm. and you know you've got a free run on it, you know you've got a clean header, is it just sort of like eyes light up yeah. moment? Yeah, oh, yeah. here we go, yeah, boom. Yeah. There's, there's not many times where you have the space to really get a run up on, yeah, on things. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, normally you, you're being marked. Now teams are doing a bit more zonal, um, but it's still very difficult because you get blockers and, and stuff like that. So for me to get a free run at it, uh, my eyes lit up for sure. Just knew if I'd got my head on it, it, it was, go it was going enough. in. It was yeah. great, great ball in and uh, yeah, loved it, loved it. Talk to me about the North London derbies. Yeah. Are they are they as fierce as what everybody makes out they are? Like, do, do you know in the build up to it, like that yeah. work week up to it, is it a little bit different to normal yeah, games? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Throughout the week, um, there's a build up, you know, in the in the press, in the papers. Normally, back in, in, in my day, there was normally someone that said something and uh yeah. you know, that got blown up yeah. in the papers. Sometimes we put the paper clip on the on the changing room, look what they've said. Really? Is that you know, a thing? just to get get players up for it, yeah, uh, yeah. even if if they needed it anymore. But uh yeah, you know, driving into the, the, the stadium on match day you could feel the, the difference. Yeah, yeah. You know, with it, the fans. Once you got on the pitch for the warm up, you could just feel it and uh, there was a lot of games that often went a little bit crazy between the two teams because of the atmosphere that was generated, yeah. players kind of losing their heads. Just can't help themselves. Yeah, just kind of getting caught up in the atmosphere of the yeah. games and uh, yeah, there was some, uh, there was always there was always good games, always entertaining games. If you look back on your career, are these the kind of games that will always stick out for you? These are yeah. the ones that you miss? Yeah, yeah. I, I always loved the, the biggest, best games, playing against the best players. Um, and yeah, I've played in a North London derby, so to speak, since I was 14 years old. So yeah. I come, come up through Tottenham system knowing the importance of winning these games. Uh, took that into the first team with me. Obviously it was mag magnified, but there's no better feeling than, than winning that game. OK, Ledley, this is it. The moment we're here for, your foot hero moment. You, 2008 League Cup final, lifting that trophy. Talk me through it. What a feeling. What a feeling. And uh, there's a bit of a story to to why I lifted the trophy yeah, why, why with Robbie. It's because uh, I'd only played in the semi-final uh, this year. Yeah. So I missed the, the, the games previous. I played the two semi-final leagues against Arsenal. Yeah. Uh, and I'd already had it in my head if we won it, because Robbie, Robbie had captained the team leading up to the semi-finals, uh, I was going to lift it with him. And he was someone who'd been at the club for years. He was someone who cared about the club. Uh, just like myself, and uh, I just thought it'd be a great moment yeah. for the both of us to lift it together. So, uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm so glad now I get an opportunity to look back at the pictures, look back at videos, and uh, see Robbie, because uh, you know, it means a lot to him as well. I can see the, the look in your face, I can see how much this means to you. Is this one, one moment that will always stick out for you in your uh, career? To be honest, I was, I was knackered. Really? Right? I've, <laughs> I've, not, I've not played between the semi final and the final. So, I think it was three weeks or, or a month where I hadn't played. Um, I was almost on ice, yeah. re re getting ready for the final. <laughs> Mentally, I was, you know, uh, I was kind of in the gym on bikes and stuff like that. I knew I'd be okay for the final, um, so I'd not played. And then the game went to extra time, oh, which was the last that. thing I needed. You do not need that. So uh, at the end of the game, obviously exhausted. Then you got the, the stairs. Yeah. I'm not going to complain about them. <laughs> but then, you know, I don't know how many stairs there are, but there's so many stairs. So by the time I got up to the top, I was knackered. Yeah. But. Uh, no, great, great feeling. What's yeah. that? Give me that full-time whistle feeling. Yes. You know that when it goes mm. and you know you finally won that, mm. Mm. that trophy and then you look at the sea of white yeah, and yeah. they're all going absolutely yeah. crazy. Could you grasp how much it meant to the Tottenham fans? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think we could feel it on the day, um, especially when we scored the first goal in the game. Yeah. You know, uh, I think everyone in the stadium, all the Spurs fans, really believed that we could go on and win the game. That yeah. transferred to the players. Um, then we got the, the winner with Woody and uh, once the final whistle went, it was just about grabbing the first white shirt you could find <laughs> yeah. and just celebrating Squeezing with them. them. Yeah, just, that's basically where it was. Um, and we had a good group of players, a group of players that had been together for, for a number of years. It was all a good age and we was all hungry to, to win something at that point. So, uh, yeah, that no, was great, great moment. Ledley King, that is your foot hero moment and this is what will commemorate it.
Beautiful card, mate. Beautiful. I appreciate it. Okay, Ledley, before we go, uh, we actually put a tweet out this week asking Tottenham fans to get in touch with their questions for the main man himself, and they got in touch in their droves. Right, you ready for this? Nothing too dodgy. Really? Yep. I promise okay. you. Um, tell us about your training programme during the week when your knee was playing up. How hard was that to do? Yeah, it was difficult. I think, uh, you know, it's like players, when they're, they're not fit, they're not happy, are they, when they're not playing? I spent the last five years of my career um, not training. Really? So if we played on a Saturday, um, you know, I'd be in the gym Monday, or Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday, sometimes I'd come out and do a little bit. Sometimes I couldn't even do that. Really? My knee still felt that bad. Uh, and then I'd play on the Saturday again, and it was the same thing next week. How hard was that for you, just going out onto the pitch and just playing games? Um, difficult, obviously. You know, it's like you feel, when you feel rusty. I always felt like it was my first game back. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. after being yeah, there for yeah, a long yeah. time, it always felt like that. Uh, but mentally, uh, I changed kind of from wanting to be the best player that I could be to then being a player that was important to my team, that made everyone around me better, uh, and making us a better team when I was when I was involved. So, you know, from 26 to 31, really was was no training. Uh, but I was still felt that I was important yeah. in the team, making sure everyone else was doing their job. Well, from the outside looking in, mate, you were a Rolls Royce. You could never even tell that you hadn't trade. Honestly, it was like it was like you were in the moment every single time. Every Saturday, you knew what you were going to get from Leslie King. Incredible. Um, I'm going to reword. I'm going to reword this question. All right. The question is basically: Were you fully aware of how much the rivalry between Tottenham and Arsenal was? Basically. <laughs> Basically, did you know how much Tottenham fans hate Arsenal fans? Of course I did. Of course I did. <laughs> of course I did. As I say, I've you know been at the club since I was 14. Um, at the time, you have players or friends that play for rival clubs, and you want to beat them. You just want to beat them as, as you know as badly as possible uh, in football, in sense. And you know that only kind of heightens when you get into the first team level. And of course, you, you, you see the fans. Uh, you know that it spoils their week if you don't win the game. Yeah, you know they've got to go to work. Yeah, 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 well, really. Yeah. yeah, you know uh, they've got to go into work and face their uh, their rival friends, uh, kind of gloating in their face. And you know, as players, it, it hurts a lot. It's, it hurts a lot when you lose that game. So uh, yeah, I'm fully aware of it. I was always fully aware of it. I always tried to make sure that players coming into the football club were aware nice. of it as well, because uh, that was the first first fixture you look for. You know, after the first game of the season. You look at where, where, when are we playing Arsenal? Yeah. That was it. So uh, it's always going to be a massive game. I love that. Um, who was your favourite centre half partner? Oh, you put me under some pressure here. My favourite. Uh, I like. Uh, listen, there's going to be some disappointment. Yeah, there is. So, I'm going to say sorry to all my partners, <laughs> my ex partners, but uh, Dawson. I have to say really, Dawson yeah. because we played the most together. And Dawson was a great lad. He, he joined the club at a young age and. Uh, you know, he was just someone who wanted to learn and, and improve. Most of his teammates will tell you that he was probably uh, their number one favourite teammate. Really, yeah. yeah. He was just a lovable guy. Everyone yeah. loved him. And uh, I played so many games with him and I think we complimented each other. He was different to me. You know, he liked to do the dirty work and I, <laughs> I liked to kind of clean up. Uh, but yeah, we just complimented each other and uh, you know, we had a good good relationship together. Yeah, I love that. That Senrab youth team, yeah. talk to me about that. How crazy is that? Is anything like that yeah. ever going to happen again? No, what was it, wasn't it about just, it? It wasn't just our team as well. There was you know, the, the years above and the years below. There were players that were, were coming through. But my team, we had five players that went on to play in the Premier League. Wow. From a group of, uh, you know, it was probably 10 or so when we was together, 10 years old. So, Just to put that into context, yeah. you, to get five players coming out of any Premier League academy team and making it yeah. as professional players. Yeah, no, the Sunday League team. It's, no, it's no, unheard of. Yeah, and I think we've all played for England as well. <laughs> all five of us Incredible. have represented our country as well, which is crazy. Love that. Ledley King, you are an absolute legend. The king of N17. Enjoy your foot heroes item. What a guy. <laughs>